Hello techie. In our previous tutorial, we have learned how to work with add work queue item action to create or add new items to work queue from Power Automate desktop. We have added only one item in work queue by using this action. But as part of the supply chain process or customer experience or task management or resource allocation use cases, thousands of transactions has to be processed every day. Now we will learn how to add multiple transactions or items to work queue by using add work queue item action. All right, let me show you an Excel. If you see on my screen, I'm having product sales Excel. Inside my product sales Excel, I'm having product sheet. There you can see I'm having product ID, product name, quantity, unit price, and total amount, right? There you can see I'm having more than 250 transactions are available. Now, as part of our use case, I want to add all these items into my work queue by using an action called add work queue item to process these transactions. How can I go ahead and do that? To read the data from the Excel, I'm going to use Excel automation actions. First, you can see to open the document that is product sales dot Excel SX file, I'm going to use launch Excel and I'm going to store the Excel instance in the variable called Excel instance. And then I'm going to read the Excel by using an action called read from Excel worksheet action, which it will read all the values of the cell in the particular worksheet that is products. And we are going to store inside the variable that is product sales Excel data. And then once the data has been read, I'm going to close the Excel by using close the Excel action, right? Now, if you observe in my Excel, I'm having more than 240 transactions. Now I want to pass each and every value into this work item. Let me open this add work queue item action. Let's double click on that. There, if you see the parameters for add work queue item, I'm having work queue that is product sales work queue. And the status is queued, priority is normal, and the name I have given static name over here. That is WQIPAD1, I have given it, right? The input I have given static over there, and the expires, it has been null, and process notes I have not given anything because these two are the optional. Now, what I have to do as part of this session, I want to add multiple work items to the work queue, right? How can I go ahead and do that? I'm going to close this action that is add work queue item. Let me drag and drop this for each action onto the workspace to loop through the data that is product sales Excel data. Let me drag and drop. There you can see for each iterates over the items in a list, data table or data row. Now, what is the value to iterate? That is we have got it, the variable from the read from Excel worksheet that is product sales Excel data. Let me click on the variable and then I'm going to select sales Excel data. Let me select that. And then for every loop, we'll have one sale item, right? I'm going to store inside my current item that is product sale item. And then I'm going to click on save. Now, the product sale item having the columns, right? Such as product ID, product name, price, and then we are having the total amount, right? Now, I have to generate a JSON over here, JSON format. How can I go ahead and do that? I'm going to use variable that is set variable. Let me drag and drop this set variable action inside my for each action. I'm going to give the variable name as JSON variable. And there you can see the value. In our previous tutorial, we have used the JSON format for the add work queue item. I'm going to paste the same thing over here, such as product ID, product name, product price. But here, for each and every item which we are having in the Excel, I have to prepare a dynamic JSON, right? How can I go ahead and do that? In place of POD001, I'm going to give the current item that is product sales item. Where I can go ahead and get it, I'm going for the variable. And there you can see I'm having product sale item. I'm going to select that. Inside my product sale item, I'm having product ID. I'm going to give this product ID in square brackets and then I'm going to give it as product ID in single quotes. All right, I'm going to copy this and then in place of laptop, I'm going to paste the same thing and then right now I'm going to give it as name, product name. Then in place of price, I'm going to place 
product sale item of unit price these are all the columns which we are having in the excel all right there you can see for the product id i have got it from the product sale item of the product id column product name product name product price we are going to get it unit price all right let me click on save now let me drag this add work you item inside for each action now we have generated a javascript object notation that is json script by using set variable right and then i'm going to pass this set variable inside my add work you item as input let me double click on the add work you item there you can see inside my parameters i'm having input right in place of static data i'm going to give the variable that is json variable let me delete this and then i'm going to select the variable that is json variable let me select that now the name you can see over here the name also we have given it as static now what i have to do i have to make it dynamic how can i go ahead and do that let me remove this name in place of name i'm going to give the product id which we are getting from the product sale excel data and then i'm going to select the variable that is product sale item inside that we are going to mentioning the column name that is product id how can we mention it in the square brackets in single quotes i'm going to give product id all right and the remaining parameters you can see the work queue i'm going to select it as product sales work queue and i'm going to give the status of this each and every item as queued and the priority i have given it as normal and the name of this work queue item is product sale item that is coming from the product id which is the dynamic value and the input you can see over here we have generated a json we are going to pass that script as the input all right and the output i am going to store inside my variable whenever we are going to get unique id in the variable that is new work queue item let me click on save before running this desktop flow let me switch to the power automate and there if you see inside my work queue that is product sales work queue i am having only two work queue whenever i am going to run this desktop flow there are more than 200 plus of work queues will be adding from this power automate desktop to work queue over here all right now let's run the flow to see the output by clicking on run flow execution started there you can see by using excel automation actions it is trying to read the data from the product sales that it is trying to read the data from product sales excel once it's read the data it will store inside the variable that is product sales excel data now it will go through the loop by using an action called for each right and then you can see it is going to store current item that is product sale item and then it is going to be generating a json script by using set variable it is trying to add the work queue item to the product sales work queue by using add work queue item action it will go through the loop for the 200 plus items and then it will add each and every work item into my work queue that is product sales work queue it will take some time to execute the flow has executed successfully there you can see on my right hand side i'm having five flow variables inside that i'm having product sales excel data which we are having 244 rows right each and every current item i am having product sale item with six columns and there you can see as an output of this add work queue item i'm having the variable called new work queue item if you double click on that there you can see for each and every transaction we will get id work queue id which is a geo id or system generated reference id and the priority is normal and the name you can see for the sum of the values that we are having reference of the product id so that it is giving the values and there you can see the value which we have passed as an input there you can see the product id which is same as the name and the product name is the headphones and the product price 2.84 dollars all right let me click on close now if you see i'm having json variable which we have generated by using set variable that is json variable let's double click on that there you can see inside my json we have generated json script right there you can see i'm having product id product name and price which is dynamically we have generated that 
let me click on close now to see the output let me switch to the power automate and there you can see before executing the desktop flow we are having two work queue items right let me click on refresh there you can see i am having n number of transactions nothing but more than 244 plus transactions are available inside my work queue items to see all the work queue items i'm going to click see all there if you see i'm having work queue item name as product plus whatever the product id we have given it right so that one prod 07458 457 456 and so on has been added successfully to the work queue all right i hope you understand how to add multiple transactions to the work queue by using add work queue item action as part of this tutorial